He was a very humble person, and very forgiving, even to those that did wrong by him. And he had a lot of time for people and for his students. I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about my new book, which I'm very excited about. The title of the book is Habib Gerges, Coptic Orthodox Educator and a Light in the Darkness. This was a fascinating figure in our modern Coptic history. And really the crux of the message that we can learn from the life and work of Archdeacon Habib Gerges was how he used education as a method of maintaining Coptic identity. Habib Gerges was such a respected figure within the Coptic community, and in particular amongst the members of the Holy Synod and the head of the church, the Patriarch. And in fact, Pope Cyril V, who was very close to him, would invite him regularly for meetings and also to come and attend the Synod meetings on a regular basis. Habib Gerges was always very generous with his time, in particular for his students, even though that he usually liked to retire early, but when his students came and he invited them to his home, and they would spend many hours with him in the evening, listening to his speech, learning from his wisdom, and he was always willing to give of his time for his students. The very clear legacy that Habib Gerges leaves for us is that education is the most important need for the community after bread and also that no priest should be ordained without having a proper theological education. Without strong leaders, the church would become weak, and he realized this, and this was the church that he was born into, and he wanted this to change and to be reformed. Mm -hmm. 